Hi, this is Zach with Warner Wound, and today I'll be doing a hands-on with the new SASTEC Time Speed Indicator. SASTEC is a brand new brand. This is their first watch. It's a modern pilot watch with some uh, interesting features. They reached out to us to take a look at it. They'll be launching this watch on Kickstarter, actually right around the time that this uh, hands-on uh, drops. Um, I thought this watch was a really kind of an interesting and fun spin on the modern pilot watch. Very clearly you can see that one of the big differences is that it has a uh, disc-based minute system as well as second system. So it mixes a use of hands with discs as well as on crystal printing to kind of make a more kind of curious and different uh, style of watch. I thought that was uh, well executed and kind of an interesting concept. So looking at it now, it's straight up, it's a, it's a 44 millimeter case. It's a nice, it's a big case, you know, that might be too big for some people. As you can see here on my wrist, it's definitely on the large side, but not, uh, I don't think crazy oversized. It's not like a, it's not really that um, garish or anything like that. It's 52 millimeters lug to lug, but the lugs slope down pretty sharply with a kind of a cool geometric facet here. So there is some ergonomics to that. And it's 11 millimeters tall. So it's actually fairly flat. It's powered by the Miyota 9015 automatic movement, so that is a thin movement, so that helped them kind of achieve that 11 millimeter thickness, which is nice to see. So wide but flat kind of wears, you know, all right. And the crown here is at four o'clock too, so that helps with, uh, you know, crown not digging in on the wrist. So those things combine to make a more wearable large watch, but it is still a large watch. Uh, looking in though, what's cool about this is, you know, this mix of uh, discs and hands. So the hour hand is uh, a traditional hand, but it is, um, in like hidden, partially hidden under this disc. So you only see the pointer um, and then you see the minute through this window. And then the second hand uh, has no actual numbers associated with it. It is just this spinning spiral here, which is a clear reference to the front of turbine engines on modern uh, jets. Um, it's actually very easy to read. You know, at first glance, maybe like, that's kind of weird, but it works sort of like a regulator. And you know, you know, because of how you just know how to read time, that the hour is you know, very easy to read. So you know this is you know, three, and then you have 3.08 or whatever that exact minute is. Um, when you have sometimes watches with multiple discs, like hour, when the hour is a disc, that can be a little funny because of how the actual, you know, you'll have the hour index moving under something. So this is actually very easy to read because you just see the hour, you see the minute, and it's done. The dial that's underneath here, I think is very well executed. I actually really like the, uh, the graphic elements here. It's entirely textured with circular graining. So you have a nice little bit of kind of a, a metallic sheen to that. A uh, little bit of texture just adds some, uh, some depth to it as well. Uh, very nice kind of uh, simple typeface, very clean, well presented. It's all on black, and I love this green here. There's a few different color options. This one they call Verde for green. It's a really nice green. It's like a seafoam minty green. It's a color I personally really like. I think it goes really, really well with the black PVD case, black dial, black graphics. Um, and it's just, you know, it's attractive, sort of a different take on it. Uh, the watch comes on a 22 millimeter strap here, kind of a classic pilot strap with a big pre-V buckle. It's an interesting kind of rusted red uh, leather here. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about that other than, you know, it basically it gets the job done. So this watch is going to be uh, retailing, uh, the full price will be $399. So that's, you know, obviously very fairly priced for a Miyota 9015 watch. Uh, it will be unveiling on Kickstarter starting at $325, so a little bit of a break there. You know, I think if you're interested in fun kind of quirky pilot's watches, something modern, something that kind of mixes maybe a little bit more of a design sensibility into the pilot's watch, uh, this could be a very cool option. Uh, please check out the article on Warner Wound. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks.